and welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank on the PlayStation 2! When we last left off, we went and blasted Blarg out of the skies of Pokitaru to earn us the O2 Mask, which will finally allow us to explore as Ratchet on Planet Orkson. So, let's go there, shall we? And of course, I went ahead and got back all the bolts that I used to buy the decoy glove. And, of course, five extra bolts, because I noticed that I missed a red washer in the last video, which irks me. So, at this point, I would be at 32,906 bolts. However, I went ahead and found all the other bolt stashes on the other planets that I actually don't want to show on video, because, well... It would be kind of a pain to edit them in and possibly do the post-commentary, which I might need to do. But I can hopefully explain to you where all these stashes are. Now, the best way that I can explain as to where the bolt stashes that I found off-screen are is by bringing up the map screen so that way I have a visual aid to help in this endeavor. And by pressing L1 I can go to the maps for all the other planets and not actually have to go there, which is rather nice. Now, starting off with Planet Novalis, the bolt stashes that I could find was right around here, which is at the start of the cave leading to the hidden gold bolt behind the wall that you have to blow up. And right around here, which is at the start of the crater, when you take the path to go rescue the mayor. Now on Planet Iridia, the bolt stashes that I could find was right here at the start of the construction site, which is the path you take to get the trespasser. And right around here at the end of the construction site, right where all those time bomb crates were in that sandy area. Now on planet Kirwan, the bolt sessions I could find was right around here, at the start of the fitness course, and right around here, which is just outside Big Al's RoboShack. Now on planet Eudora, the bolt stashes that I could find was right here in this alcove, which is by the trees connected by that walkway. And the other one that I could find was right here on this path that you take after getting the suck cannon. Now on Nebula G34, the only one that I could find was right here on this dirt path that leads to the room full of cages. Now on planet Rilgar, the two that I could find was right here, which is in this cavern area that you have to take the elevator to get to that you find after finding the Rhino Salesman. And the other one that I found was right by the Hoverboard Race Girl. Now on planet Umbris, the two that I could find was right about here, which is where the first set of pads were, and right in the Snaggle Beast pit. Now on planet Batalia, I did miss a bolt stash location, or bolt stash, right by the turret, so I went ahead and got that one. And the ones that I didn't show while I was here was right around here, which is where we had first seen a cannonball tank, and right where the gold bolt that was hidden, right here. And of course, since I would, since I'm doing this Let's Play just about how I'd normally play it, I of course went ahead and got all the boxes, or crates in this case. So, yeah, I am now up to... Uh, <laughs> yeah, the thing is, when I'd normally played, I was a bit lazy and didn't get the stashes, so... Yeah, I am going to go ahead and get the Vizzy Bomb gun right now! Yeah, I'm not going to go ahead and waste my time getting the Persuader and all that time, all that stuff. Because, well, I can get this without fear. What is that? Why my favorite weapon? The Vizzy Bomb gun, and also I did kind of say that. Oh boy, and also I did grind an extra 2,000 bolts on Battalia because, yeah, ammo for this thing is very expensive. But oh boy, this thing is amazing, and Ratchet, put your helmet back on, you're gonna suffocate! Ugh, there you go, jeez. Now, the way that this thing works is that when you fire it, you can guide the missile with the left thumbstick, though when you're going up and down the... 
it's inversed, so you got to be careful. And of course, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it right here because you may have noticed this gold bolt over here. And to oh, <laughs> oh I'm what are the chances of that? Wow, you're a jerk bag. <laughs> oh god, I better stop because if I laugh too much, I end up coughing. Okay. And of course, we have to do this multiple times to get into this tunnel. And I don't particularly like this tunnel because it can suck. Trying to platform can be a bit of a hair razor. Okay. And yes! There we go. That's three. Some more to go. This corner is a bit tricky. Yeah, it's turning these tight corners. Oh, darn it! Now, I don't want to spend too many bolts on this thing. You know what? I should just go ahead and leave that. But I should be fine with all the bolts that I, of course, will be getting along the way. Now, oh, seriously, what are the freak odds of me getting hit by that bomb? Okay. Oh, steering this thing is such a hassle. And there we go. And this should do it if I can get through there. Yeah, this is a bit tricky, like I said. Pull up. Down. And Bob's your uncle. Well, if he wasn't before, he is now. Oh, boy. Now. Of course, I got some when you're firing the busy bomb gun, you are vulnerable, so yeah, make sure you fire this thing from a safe place where there are no enemies about, because if they do hit you, you'll get interrupted. And of course, the busy bomb gun, you can't just fire it. it. It doesn't go on forever. It will eventually fade, and yeah, once you land here, for some reason, this gate shuts. Thank you, game. And also... I'm just gonna go ahead and save that right there. And yeah, I did went ahead and and of course uh, rearranged my inventory or my quick select. Now let's go ahead and defeat this toxic crab. Get out of here. And let's go down, shall we? And of course we're soon gonna be meeting one of the enemies that I don't particularly like in this game, and really I shouldn't have equipped the suck cannon because I'm going to need the walloper. Because there's quite a few of those crates. Let's go ahead and grab that. Now, what enemy is it that I don't like that you may ask? It's these guys. You know what? You remember that one thing that I did on the blog at the blog station, yeah. Come over here. Oh dang it! Seems that these guys are immune to that thing. Oh well. Yeah. What these guys do is they just fly towards you and they just they just snap at you. Oh freaking! They also flit about the place, which is annoying. Okay. Any bolts that I missed there? Nope. Okay. Now this video may just be a long one. Of course, considering that I explained things as well, yeah, that would be a given. And, of course, right over there is yet another new enemy, the Screamer. What these guys do is they just love to get up and smack pots and pans and, of course, wake everybody up. Because they're, yeah, they're, they're rather nice like that. Now, let's go ahead take out that toxic crab and go over these totally safe platforms, and by totally safe, I mean absolutely horrendous things, because, yeah, they fall into the, into that goo. Please don't fall in, Ratchet, please. Ooh. Let's go ahead, Get that up, and, ooh, 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 ooh. let's go ahead, and this up, and, nope, right there, there's another vendor. Now, if I didn't have all those bolts at this point, I'd normally take the path to the right. However, I'm going to be going and taking the path to the left. Now, what are we going to get? Well, it doesn't matter. We're going to be spending 100 bolts either way. Because I want to keep this Hi thing there, all nice and topped up. Now, oh, 
Dang it, Moby! Eleven, get out of my way! Yeah, that's apparently what is the coding for the Gadgetron vendor is... Oof. Well, there you go. Now, I want to go ahead and equip this, because... Let me formally introduce you to the Blarg Saucer. Yeah, these guys are absolute annoyances with Ratchet. Because, well, with Clank, you don't have to worry with the worry about them. So let's just go ahead and deal with them like that. Yeah, the Fizzy Bomb is... What are you doing down there? Well, that's 20 bolts so I'm not going to get. Okay, now... Let's go ahead and grab this, and hey, it's one of you dudes! I don't remember your name, so I don't give a damn. Uh, okay. Yeah, the Space Commandos. I think that's it. Ugh. Oh, hey, hello, how you doing? Don't you be doing that. It's not nice. Now, let's go up here, and... Yeah, there are, is a couple of these toxic crabs. Yeah, they take... Quite the... Quite the hits with this thing. There we go. Dealt with you. And hopefully I can do everything rather optimally. Because, yeah, I had a failed take of this and... Well, I just ended up screwing... Screwing up badly. And just, I'd rather not talk about it. Ugh. And that was freaking... That video was going so well. But it does give me the chance to do something that I had accidentally missed. And I got some great bargains yeah. for you today. Okay, now let's go ahead and oh yeah, that's right. There's no. Oh, that's a nice one. Let's go ahead and purchase this because I'd rather that the Gadgetron crates. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I'd rather not be spending so much bolts on ammo. Okay, now. Oh yeah, by the way, if we go just up here, we should be able to see, yep, another toxic crab. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that if you press circle while the Visibomb missile is in flight, you can indeed detonate it. Yeah, so if you just need that boom right away, you don't need to worry about having to impact something, which is nice. Let's go ahead and open the way over here. Of course, I'm going to save that Gadgetron crate until after I deal with this Blarg Space Commando and these freaking dinosaur dragon bird things. Ow. Frick it. Stand still. Urgh. Hello, bye-bye. Hello. Hello, bye-bye. <sighs> Now let's go ahead and grab this, because now we can jump and... Oh yeah, I needed busy bomb ammo. So, thank you, game. Needed... Oh yeah, that's right, I could have just go ahead and smash this other Gadgetron crate all the way over. That's right there. Oh boy. Now this area, that where I'm at, is a bit of a nuisance when you don't have the busy bomb. And you'll see what I mean just as soon as I scratch my nose, because it's being really itchy. Now let's go ahead and equip this, and... Yeah, there's another one of these large saucers! Ugh, almost said sorcerer. Ugh. Just, uh, this isn't D&D, &D, you know! Ugh. I wish it was D&D. &D. Yeah, for some reason the... Oh, nice. Thank you. Yeah, for some reason the camera is fixed at a two point... I don't know, it's just at a fixed angle here. Don't like it! But, since we defeated that... Since we defeat, went ahead and defeated that... Saucer, this camera angle should go away. <laughs> yep, there we go. And, of course, let's go ahead and... Fire more busy bombs. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Nice. Okay. I should carefully take my time because I don't want to fall into that yucky stuff. Okay. And right here. Yep. Another bolt stash location. I want this, please. 
Gucci. Do, do, do. Come on, there we go. Thank you. Oh god, itchy nose. This is bad. Okay, they're all the way over here. And there we go. Got that one. And there we go. That's all of them. Now. Oh, freaking hell. What's wrong with my nose? Ugh. Itchy, itchy, itchy for spot. Now, I want to go ahead and equip my blaster. Why? Because... Oh, looks like one of these little blue nut bars is sleeping on the other side. Would it be a shame if he got shot now? And for doing that, you get a skill point called Sniper, which is also a hidden bronze trophy in the PS3 HD version. So, there's one of the skill points here. And, oh boy, there is a ton of these guys here. But luckily, the Vizzy Bomb is capable of taking out these hordes. Let's go ahead and equip this. I'd rather that you not be there. As well, I don't want you getting in my way. As well, he could snap at me while I'm on the platform, and I do not want that. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Jump over here, and yikes! That's a whole lot of crabs. Crabs everywhere! In your hair, in your under... No! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just... That could come across as very, very rude. And just outright dirty. Okay, now let's just go ahead and equip this and gun you down! And there you go. I thought there might have been a... One of those things. Ugh, those crabs, crabs. I don't think I'd want to try those crab legs out, because that would probably be very disgusting. Ah, oh, you know what's disgusting? This itch that keeps persisting. What the frick? Okay, there we go one, two. See? Yeah, this thing just absolutely. Helps out just freaking wonderful, wonderful invention. Oh, oh, freaking hell. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, Ratchet, time to stop being a uh, big bub and just go ahead and pull that out. And of course, there are some toxic crabs. Yeah, I did not pay attention in the last, in my last take, and. Uh, now, thankfully, there isn't a saucer right here. Holy crap! What is up with my nose? Yeah, so you don't need to worry. Ugh. And at least these guys aren't as bad as the, with the crabs, I mean, when look, finding them, because they're not like the Seekers. Oh, boy. Freaking hell. Why do they have to be so hard to see on walls? Okay, double jump, and let's equip my blaster. Why? Because if I step forward, yep, there's another one of these space commandos, but he fell off the edge. Well, he would have, even if I didn't shoot him, then he would have been screwed either way. And just deal with you, and ha-ha! <laughs> yes! Nice! Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Now, let's go ahead and grab Ooh, blaster ammo. Thank you. Now, yep, right here. And if we go up here, we should see something. Yep. You remember that vendor? That, well, that vending machine? Yeah, it was in one of the infobots. There's, well, the infobot for this place. And also, if we step here, yep, the doorway opens, finally. Also, that's some impressive technology that they've used to block out the toxic air. Though, that really, they should have gotten... Uh, they should have just learned to not pollute the place, but okay. Anyways, let's go ahead and see what this thing is. This is a premium nanotech dispenser. You can purchase a can to increase your maximum health. Nice! We can finally increase our health! <sighs> Freaking for 4,000 bolts, that's a good deal. And also, buy the premium nanotech. Premium nanotech will boost your overall health. It will definitely... 
it's definitely a worthwhile purchase. Price. Yeah, that's one thing that I had missed. Also, they're right there. So, let's go ahead and increase our health right now! Refreshing. This dispenser also carries Ultra Nanotech, the very latest in Gadgetron technology. Ultra Nanotech is three times more potent than Premium Nanotech. Crap! <laughs> yeah, I had my mic muted for a bit, so sorry, so I had to go over. Yeah, that's the reason why I only have the, or I only buy the, or the Pyrocitor, the Blaster, the the, the Devastator and Walloper is because, of course, to save up for this. Yeah, 30,000 bolts! That's a lot! But let's go ahead and buy this, shall we? Damn, Ratchet, you're friggin' just about... Maybe even more so as bad as me when I have a couple root beer cans. Oh, but yes! Eight nanotech spheres! We are now well off. And oh, thank you, game. Thank you so much. Oof, that ammo is just... Even though I... Yeah, we're pretty much just closest to the amount of bolts that we had near the beginning of the game. Holy crap! Now, let's go ahead, bust these open, and of course, gonna want to go ahead and show those off, show these things off before I forget, because while I did forget the pilot helmet, sorry about that. So, let's go ahead. Premium Nanotech, developed by Blarg Scientists. Premium Nanotech increases your maximum health by one nanotech sphere. And, Ultra Nanotech. Ultra Nanotech replenishes... Or represents the pinnacle of Blarg Engineering. This incredible boost increases your maximum health by three nanotech spheres. Now, does it taste like root beer? Because I'd definitely be down for that. Or cream soda. Yeah, this is some good stuff. Or a grape. I don't know. Not much of a Coca-Cola person. This, yeah. Well, let's go ahead. Yeah! Yeah! Splat! Yeah, we're now back up to this cave system, but sadly we cannot go over there. As well, we can't. Yeah, need to continue on. Okay. And also, seriously, Ratchet could easily fit through those bars and he won't be able to fit through them. Visible walls for the win. And also, yeah, since Ratchet is organic, he can't go through that. And also, god dang it! Should really show this off before I forget. And yeah, for some reason these say different things. Mouse house, I didn't actually pay attention. And yeah, for the pilot's helmet it says Blarg. Oh wait, it says right there. Developed by the Blarg. Developed by the Blarg. The pilot's helmet is a direct neural interface that allows you to pilot Blarg fighters. The control scheme is simple enough for even a Blarg to use. Square to fire. Square to fire machine gun, circle to fire missiles, and X to activate afterburners? Oh, to engage afterburners. My bad. Yeah. Well, that's saying just how smart they are. And also, let's go ahead and look up the Visibomb. The Visibomb gun is the most effective long-range weapon made by Gadgetron. Just launch a remote-controlled Visibomb and deliver a massive payload with pinpoint accuracy. Caution, always fire the gun from a safe place, since damage to the user will terminate the missile's flight. Yep, see, that's all that I want to tell you. Okay, more boxes, crates, 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 crates. Now, do I need any more? Yes, I do. I'd like me some of them missiles. Thank you. And, of course, yeah. This thing just takes us all the way back down here. And, oh, looks like we can... There's some more of those guys, and oh, joy, gotta go ahead and run across these things again. I always do it like this, because I am not... Ugh. Yeah, I'm not exactly too... I'm a little bit scared. Okay, let's go ahead and deal with you. With one missile, apparently. Okay. And, of course, I'm going to want to go ahead... And not buy some busy bomb ammo as well. 
I do want to use it because, yeah. Wakey, wakey! Oh, freaking shoot! Stupid inverted controls! Yeah, curse you! Curse you and all your sucky controls! And there we go! Oh, dang it! One of them survived. Get out of here! Ah! I said, get out of here! Get up and a fizzy bomb! Thank you! Of course, I'm gonna wanna go ahead and. Yeah! Hey, little birdie! Don't, don't even wanna take my time. Did I even get you? No! Freaking. Yes! Yeah, sometimes the. the missiles from the Devastator can be a little drunk at times. Sometimes they'll just like go spinning in circles. Let's go ahead. I am going to fill it up, fill these weapons up, even though it costs a bit. As well, need the ammo. Now, oh, phone's ringing. Someone else is going to be getting that. Now, this is right here. I wouldn't really go ahead and use the thruster pack because, well, yeah. Uh, you'll, since it just sends you straight forward, you'll end up shooting towards the wall, and you'll probably just bump in and fall into the goop. Now, I really wish I could have shown you last... I really wish I didn't have to retake this video, because I managed to pull a James Stevenson! And what do you... what do I mean by that? Well, in some of the Ratchet & Clank games where James Stevenson had control... Oh, hey! Get over here! Yeah, also, yeah, there's only that mission. I think so. If I missed it, oh well. Yeah, the... James Stevenson would have a habit of clipping through platforms, breaking the system. <laughs> well, not really breaking the system, but it worked in his favor. And it's honestly, it was, it's just hilarious how he manages to pull that kind of stuff off. Save yourself! And, oh boy, more drunk camera angles. And, well... Now that I have all these nanotech spheres, I am definitely a lot more comfortable taking a hit or two. Because of four. No, thank you. Okay, now let's go ahead and deal with you. And. Hey! Get over here! And. Ugh, camera! I also don't like how Ratchet kind of swings a bit too much. Now, yep. Get over here. These darters will finally pay attention to us. Don't notice me! Not senpai! Oh god, did I really just do that? Yes, I just really went ahead and done that. Uh, I apologize! <sighs> oh yeah. We gotta go ahead and catch the infobot. Catch this infobot! But watch out, it's fast! Not really. I mean, it's about as fast as the one on... Kerwan that we caught to get to Eudora. <sighs> now... Oh dear lord, that's a lot of toxic crabs. Well, we'll be dealing with them in a little bit. Because, yeah. I really wish I'd save the joke for later, but... Yeah, let's go ahead and equip the taunter, because... This just makes this bit easier. And this is also the reason why you want to get this if you're going for a hundred percent. Because, hey, over here, which is the skill point you get for luring those guys into a force field like that. And it is also a hidden bronze trophy in the HD game. So, yeah, let's go ahead. This, and, hey you, where do you think you're going? You're flying all the way over the air. Okay, you do what you want. You be you. Hmm. Now. Oh, man. Ooh. Grab all the bolts and also... I want to go ahead and equip my Vizzy Bomb. Vizzy Bomb, Vizzy Bomb, Vizzy 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 Bomb! What?! You lucky little bird... bugger. <laughs> I could have swore there, but I... decided not to. Yes! Yes! Eat missiles for breakfast! It's good for my health! As well, seriously, I'd be able to not take any damage from them. Okay. 
swing and swing and also don't fly into that tree and that's one weird coloration. Yeah, these things really... Oh my goodness. The, that is some seriously heavy mutations to have caused all that. No, oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. I could have just used the freaking Devastator. Oh, well. Now, let's go ahead and... Oh, bring it! <laughs> Screw you. Now, this is where the fizzy bomb gun is... Yeah, this is the reason why I love it. It just makes these areas a whole lot easier to go through. Because... Being able to deal with things like at a safe, safe distance like that? Yes, please! <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Now, I have to mention that this place, for some reason, the environment around here kind of reminds me of uh, another game, Heavy Metal Fact 2. Uh, it's just, I don't know, it's, for some reason, it's just the atmosphere. I don't know if I'll do that game. Maybe, maybe not. But, well, let's go and get up here and... That, and that, because, well, we need to open up the force field. And let's not use... Yeah. No. Save up on ammo. As well. I don't think I can stun lock those guys like I can with the alien snappers. And, yeah. Oh, crap! Yeah, that's what the screamers look like when they scream. Okay, you know what? Oh, dang it! Sleep? Yeah, eventually these guys go... Back to sleep! Go to sleep! Go to sleep, dear Toxic Krabby! You're a dick! You're a seriously big dick! Uh, now, I could go ahead and go there right now, that down that tunnel, but I'd rather go ahead and chase the Infobot. It's just a lot more practical. Now, oh boy, you can... No, oh jeez, right there! Yeah. The, oh, camera! You can take out that saucer with the Devastator, but I'm just going to go ahead and use the Vizzy Bomb Gun. Because, well, that's what I bought it for, to deal with these, these numbskulls. The path is nice and clear. Okay. Any more toxic crabbies? Yes, there are. Crabs, crabs. Crabs, give me all the crabs. Be identified. Okay. Open this up. Open that up. And open that up. Oh, yes, please. More. Actually, yes, please. More. Get them five short. I probably might just off screen go ahead and grind the hammer back for those things. But hey, you don't have anywhere else to go. Get back here! And Magna Boots time. Yeah, this is one of the only areas in the game I think that you can walk 360 in this whole entire room. Because look at it from top to bottom. It's just like that. Anyways, hey you! Get over here! Hello again, everyone. Supreme Executive Chairman Drek here to fill you in on our progress. We have now found the perfect orbit for our planet, one which will allow for the optimum temperature all year round. However, there is a planet now occupying that orbit, and sadly, for its few insignificant inhabitants, it must be destroyed. That's why we've created this! The Planet Buster Maximus, a device capable of blowing an entire planet into subatomic particles. We're quite proud of it. Here's how it works. We attach the Planet Buster to this ship, fly it into orbit around the planet, and let it go! Kaboom! <laughs> quite ingenious, really. Once our trained professionals put the finishing touches on our new planet, everything will be complete. Thank you. Goodbye. Now this guy's gonna blow up an entire planet? That's just... me. That's what I've been telling you. Look, I'm still gunning for Quark. If we end up taking out Drek too, hey, fine. What? You do care. Don't push it, pal. 
And now that pathway is open, and yep, we now have Planet Hoven unlocked. Yep, that's why I go to this place first. If I didn't have the bolts to get the Visibomb, that is. Because, yep, I can go ahead and do what I need to do. Because then I can get the Visibomb gun for cheaper, and just all that fine jazz. Now, I rather hope I won't be a bit of a palooka at this bit, because it's around here where I messed up, and you could probably guess. Now, there is something interesting that you can do with the thruster pack, because if you s boost jump and stretch jump, you can do it in midair. Yeah. And I think it might just be the only way that I can do anything here while going ahead and... I don't like this. I don't like this. Yeah, this is why... Ugh, these, these places are so steep that... Look at that. You'd probably just end up falling in the... In that... What is this, a worm? Because, yeah, I think this is the guts of a worm. Ugh. This, you're nasty, Insomniac Games. Seriously, the guts of a worm? Oi! Okay. No. And do that. And take my time. Yeah, I definitely think I'll go ahead and also make this a bit extra length. Because, well, there's something that I could do. <sighs> no. <laughs> no, just let's ease it up. Go! Let's go ahead and grab these bolts, grab these bolts, grab these bolts, grab these bolts, just keep grabbing them, doesn't matter where they're from, just yank them out of the ground, make, yank them out of infrastructures, doesn't matter if you make them unstable, just grab them anyways. I don't know, like, are these bolts printed out of bank? Oh. Hey! We're nearly at the end of this tunnel. And by the way, if I hadn't blown up in this area, there would have been a big metal door blocking blocking the way into this tunnel. Holy crap, that was close. Don't you dare screw me over, game. Don't you dare. Don't you mother fuzzing dare. Okay, and oh ho ho, looky looky, there we can finally grab this gold bolt. <sighs> yes, finally at the end of the tunnel. The nightmare's over! Give me! Give me the bolt! And with that, we're nearly done orcs on. We just have one more to go, and great, now I gotta dodge all this crap. Ignore some of these. No, what am I saying? I can now go ahead and. Whoa. I can now grab the. Yeah, I can grab some of the metal crates in here. I don't think they have anything. Do they? Yes, they do. Now, let's not get hurt, shall we? Any more? No, there isn't. Okay. Oh, back up to 6,000. Nice. <laughs> Run and gun! Do 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 Now. Okay. There are still some more areas that we can go ahead and explore back in this place. As well, we couldn't do... Couldn't get some of these places before. And let's go ahead and grab those again. Why not? Yeah, I think I'll just at least do one extra thing before shutting, before signing off. And I think I'll do it because, well, it's safer. Let's smash the square button. And just go through the cave. Gotta get back all those bolts. <laughs> oh, ooh, another bolt stash is around here. 
So do I need to buy ammo? I think I do. Yeah, there's some alien swarmers here, so I'm not gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and mash these things in the face! So while they're right there. And that's where that toxic crab would have been if I hadn't. Probably would have been there. I don't know, I always get that thing. Okay. There we go. There we go. Come on. Oh, oh, oh dear. Sixty-nine-nine. <laughs> oh. There we go. That should be all of them. Yep, that it is. Now, okay, let's go ahead and go over here. Why? Because you may see something. Yeah, there is a place to go right up there. So let's just... Yes! Here we have it. The final gold bolt. So this should make it so that Orkson is finally all done. Two goes! Oops. Oh, balls. Hit my microphone. Well, my headset. Yeah, I, I mentioned before how oh, I have to use two separate headsets. Oh, jeez! Hey! Stop that! That's rude! As all hell. And... You. And now we can also not jump in that friggin' this dead worm's mouth. Now, I don't know how the heck you're supposed to do this normally, but... Yep, you can jump right up here to get some more boxes. Crates! 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 Ugh! Part of me is just, like, irking at myself. ahead and get the hell out of here oh get the Ford out of Dodge now there is one place that I do want to go to before ending off this video and where would that be why once we just skip that you know what? no must see it! We must see it for the final time here on Orkson. And also, by the way... Yeah, apparently these lights have... Lombax shooing repulsive generators, along with bird and robot repulsion generators. Go figure! <laughs> well, it's a good thing I remembered that. Oof. Oh, there I go making that noise again that I freaking did... Said a lot in... Or made a lot while on Gaspar. Now, the place I want to go back to is indeed on Kerwan, because now we can finally get everything that we can do. Also, I want to try something out that a friend of mine had pointed out that I didn't realize that you could destroy. So we're going to go ahead and also do that. Now, back to Kerwan for the last time, because yes, this is indeed going to be the last time we're going to go here. I'm just breathing a sigh of relief. Gadgets, and... So, while you're on Orkson, you can't... These things would be... Would have been grayed out. Just so you know. Makes sense, because the fact is that Ratchet needs to breathe. Now... Ooh. There's one of my... T one of the things that I need to do. Is I want to go ahead and equip the Vizzy Bomb gun. Because... I have some beef with this blimp. And for destroying that blimp... Let's see, you get the skill point. Let's see. Blimpy! That's what it is. Yeah, I have my notes. And... There we go. That's one thing that I wanted to do. And you know what? Frickin' Quark's face pisses me off, so let's go ahead and just destroy this and get the Quarktastic skill point. Which also is a bronze... A hidden bronze trophy on the... HD version. Now, one last... Thing that I need to do, and it is near Al's Robo Shack. Now, is the taxi here? Yes, it is. Now, let's just go ahead and blast these things. Where are you going to lead me to? 
Yes, visit Big Al's Robo Shack. And I'm gonna go one ahead and equip the Devastator in case there's some dudes. Yeah, there is indeed a guy. There we go. Go with you. Now, the thing that I could have destroyed earlier was indeed this thing, apparently. Whoa! Okay, not cool, you stupid mutt! Ugh. Well, at least I have eight. Now, oh, dang it, too close. Oh! <laughs> yeah, there you go, and it just leaves a big hole. Okay. Ugh. That's what I get for not paying attention to my surroundings. You know what? Freaking out of here. And... Hi, Al. Bye, Al. We met your brother. He was an interesting fellow. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and... Just go ahead and... Why not? Grab these things. Oh. A Samo. Well, to buy on my part. We're almost back up to 7,500. Nice. Yes. Ah, finally gonna end this deal off. I could do another thing. However, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that off for next video. As well, another not. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh jeez. Yeah, you go run away. I don't care. Run away all you want, you coward. You be nothing. More than an insignificant gnat to me! Okay, now let me just jump in the ship. And you know what? I've changed my mind, as I will go to the place that I was just gonna leave off until later. Why? Because, well, it's not gonna take all that long, really. And where am I gonna go to? Why? It's the Blarg station that I'm gonna go to because, well, we can go ahead and grab that gold bolt. And there's also something that I had missed the first time around, or, well, when I was exploring, that is, because, well, I didn't bother exploring around a certain area. But you'll see what it is soon enough. And something that I should say is that if you have the premium nanotech, or even better yet, the ultra nanotech at this point of the game, I'd highly suggest trying to get the girl trouble skill points, because, well, since you'd have more health, with both those cans, it just makes things a whole lot easier. And something that I should say is that if you want a shortcut, just take this thing right here, and it'll lead you right to where the inventor's hiding place was. Yeah, you know, the inventor that we, who we from whom we bought the grind boots off of. By the way, if you go down that way, be prepared. Why? Because the loonies run the asylum this time around. Why do I say that? Because, well... There's a lot of alien snappers down that way. And it's not nice. Now, something that I should show you right here is the mission on the map screen that I'd forgotten to show you. And that would be buy Ultra Nanotech for 30,000 bolts. Yeah, sorry about that. Really? It's just... Also, I gotta say is to... You know what, Ratchet? Why did we have to spend all our hard-earned bolts on getting those cans? Seriously, couldn't you have just smashed the vending machine open? I mean, the Blargs seriously don't deserve our money because of everything that they've been doing. And also, really, wouldn't... I don't think anybody would have noticed because they've mentioned that they've abandoned the place. So, who... Uh, I don't know. Maybe it probably would have been best not to because maybe could have damaged the cans. And also, I really wish there was some more cans that we could have taken with us, because, well, some emergency nanotech on hand would be rather nice. Now, enough of me screwing around. Let's go and explore outside. And, yeah, once you have the O2 helmet, you can no longer explore outside here as Clank. Now, I really wish I had gone to this area that I'm going to show to you first. Or, well, off screen, because, well, it would have been just so much easier to just go this way to get the gold bolts, but, well, I do need to. Let's see, yeah, okay, just checking up all my stuff. Yeah, I do need to show off something, and it's kind of interesting, I don't know. 
Uh, and also, I hate these tiny, tiny, tiny walkways. And hey, this just means I'll get more bolts for buying stuff. And of course, since Ratchet is a lot better at jumping than Clank, I can just get all the way up here. Any more? Nope. Smash that open and. Yeah! Ooh, hoo, hoo. Look at all those big metal crates! There's. These things have to be loaded! Yeah, that's something else I wanted to show you. These crates don't have anything whatsoever, period. And this is also what I had missed, because, well, I was kind of lazy and I wanted to leave off this place for much later, so that's why I didn't realize this bolt stash was here. By the way, the explanation that I did on where all the bolt stashes were on previous planets was, of course, recorded after recording the main part of this video, so yeah, that's why it would may seem a little weird. That's why there was also the transition that you'd seen. Okay, let's go ahead and grab here. Oh, damn! Yes! All the bolts! 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 Okay. And also, I should mention that this part is also... has also been done after recording the main part of the video as well, I should mention. Okay, now, let's go ahead and... Whoa! Careful now! Now let's just go ahead and... Apparently just by looking at that direction was enough for... Grabbing it. Okay. <laughs> also, let's see, if I look around here... There's another planet. Let's see... Uh, do, 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 do. Where is it? Because Neptune can be seen from out here somewhere. And I totally missed it. Oh, frick, frick, frick. Uh, so this is so hair raising. And there it is. Also, I don't really think the using the thruster pack to boost jump, then stretch jump during in midair really affects the distance at all. Now, if you do use the thruster pack here, you'll just end up grabbing onto the ledge. But with the helipack, yeah, you just go straight onto it. And with the final gold bolt here obtained, this place is now officially done. Oh, let's see. Where are you? Oh, I think that's... Yeah, I think that's it right there. Okay, now let's just go ahead and do this. Just... Why am I doing it like that? Well, because it's safer. Yeah, and I didn't plan for this video to go as long as it did. Oh well. Still. Getting all this stuff done now just means that I'll have a little bit more time to do whatever it is that I want in the next video. And there we go. Now we can finally get everything... Sign the video off. Now let's just go ahead, get back inside, and return to the docking bay, take your helmet off, and here we go, back at the ship. And with that, I shall finally end the video off here. So, I've been the Northern Star Dragon, and I shall see you in the next video.